Hi, I'm James. Uh, thanks for watching our videos. If you see something you like, then please share it. Uh, we really do appreciate that. Also, visit myrccenter.com. Uh, it's a social website where you can create your own account, share what you know, and show us your projects and your favorite photos. Uh, you can create your own groups uh, for you and your friends, or you can form your own clubs. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you there. Um, I want to talk about my current project, the Andrea Gale from Billings Boats. Uh, this is an advanced kit, so if you're looking for something to start out with, this is not it. Uh, there are no written instructions. Everything all, is all uh, photographs and drawings, uh, so you'll be referring to those a lot. Uh, there is a lot of detail involved in this boat, so you can leave some stuff off or you can add a lot more. Uh, uh, it's all up to your own imagination what you want to do with this boat. Uh, now, uh, I did... Um, Add a lot of weight to the boat, so it comes in at 7 pounds, but you'll see why here in a second. why we want to balance our boats. Uh, here in Oklahoma you never know when you're going to get a gust of wind that you don't like and next thing you need to, next thing you know you're out there wading out there in the water trying to find your boat. So uh, I do recommend that you do put a lot of weight in here to keep keep the boat down. Without it the boat floats really high in the water and it's subject to flip over. Uh, the wind catches a lot of the uh, superstructure here and it's, so it's kind of like a kind of like a sail. It won't last long. Anyway, like I said, uh, there's a lot of creative license on this boat. Uh, I really didn't find a lot wrong with it, but like I said, it's not for the beginner. And it's not for somebody moving up in the intermediate levels either. So, anyway, here's uh, the video of the build, and then there will be a short float video after that. Again, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it.